All right, I wasn't gonna talk about this again, but here we are. I wanted to talk about the blackouts and a couple of other things that I've seen since the uh, really weird opening ceremony in Paris. And I also wanted to talk about women's role in the Olympics and that, that'll be it. So I saw that there was apparently huge blackouts in Paris either during or after they had this crazy, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to even call it, that opening ceremony for lack of a better word. It was absolutely terrible. And they had massive blackouts everywhere and they're blaming it on people using cell phones. Like people, it's like this is new, like cell phones aren't new, I'm sorry. And they're blaming it on social media. Social media crashed our, our infrastructure or whatever. Meanwhile, there's a church up like overlooking the entire thing that has full power. So explain that one to me. It's kind of like when you see a hurricane or a tornado or something like that go through like where, you know, like a hurricane coming through the, the Southeast or like a, uh, <clears throat> tornadoes in the, in the, you know, middle of the country in the dead Midwest there. It'll obliterate everything in its path other than like a Jesus statue or like a cross or something like that. I mean, it says in the Bible, and I, I am not a Bible, pusher at all. I'm just putting this stuff out there. I definitely believe in God and Jesus and, and all that, um, you know, for sure. But I'm not a Bible pusher. A lot of those people make me want to vomit. I can't stand them. <clears throat> most of them are just completely fake. I'm about the most unfake person you're ever going to meet. <clears throat> but you have to watch this stuff. You have to notice what's going on here. It's ridiculous. And then I was watching this other channel. Uh, he, he was going, he, he had a ton of views on this thing. He was going around Paris interviewing people from America and other different countries about what they thought about the opening ceremony and nobody had an issue with it. And then he's like, well, what if it was making uh, fun of transgenders or something like that? All, everybody's up in arms. Oh, that, that's terrible. Like one and a half percent of the population of the entire planet identifies as LGB, whatever that is. And we're supposed to like all encompass them. I don't know, it's like two or three billion people on the planet are Christians, but that doesn't matter, we'll make fun of that. And then he was talking to some Muslim guys and they were of, of course completely fine with it. And he's like, well, why don't we, uh, why don't we reenact that and make fun of uh, Allah or you know, the Quran or something like that. And they, it's like they were reaching for a gun. So this is an issue. Right, so like, I don't understand, like if we're supposed to be all encompassing, why are we making fun of one sector that's like the largest sector of population on the planet? Like, why are we always supposed to deal with this? Why are we supposed to uh, include <laughs> people who don't even know what sex they are <laughs> or whatever, uh, which is like one and a half percent of the population, uh, we're supposed to all encompass that, but we're not allowed to, or we're supposed to just gloss over the fact that they're making fun of a huge portion of the entire population of the country. Even parts of the population of the country that don't even have a TV to watch the Olympics. It's just, oh, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, uh, it, it just, again, I'm not a Bible thumper. I'm not, I'm not one of these, you know, uh, one of these people, I, 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 I couldn't do that either, but like this is just a bit much for me. And then I wanted to talk, speaking, I keep men, mentioning transgender. So I looked up like, are transgenders actually even allowed to compete in this Olympics? It's a very strange, like some sports, yes, some sports, no. But then I saw this article that only 4.4%, the last time, I guess, the Summer Olympics was in France of any kind, it was like, I don't know, like 135 years, I, I, the article's down here, but I don't feel like looking at it. But only 4.4% of the entire athletic makeup was women at that point, the last time it was in France. So 4.4%, that's it. You guys got it to the point where it's like 50-50 almost. And why are we allowing men who are too pathetic to uh, compete against men and they want to compete against women for whatever reason, 
why are we allowing this? Like, why, why is this a thing? I, I don't understand this at all. I don't understand this mentality. And the people who are supporting it are women who fought for their right to actually be in the Olympics, and now they're letting a re replace with somebody who's going to beat you. The, the only, I, there is this, there is this transgender that competed in one of the sports like in 2020, and he, he come in dead last. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, what level of, <laughs> what, where, where is your mental space? If you are uh, purposely competing against women and you still come in last, you come, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? I am happy to see that actually some sports are not allowing it at all. I saw that there's 191 people in the Olympics, athletes in the Olympics identifying as whatever, as not knowing what sex you are. Um, and I think, like I, for, for me, for example, I, it, like I've been in locker rooms at the gym and had gay men like come after me. This not just one off. It, at the one gym, it was so bad that I actually started using the family restroom. So I was by myself. And so I can only imagine kind of what the locker rooms and stuff are like because I've seen the other end of this, like very aggressive. The one that was the most aggressive had like he was redhead, red, you know, he was a redhead, freckled, had a beard, and, you know, oh my God. It was like this big, you would never know. But this dude, oh my gosh. So I can only imagine what the locker rooms are like. What? Why is this a thing? Why? Anyway, I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? This is just where, I, where, where we're at right now, but like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. I, I think I'm gonna stop before I keep going. But that's my thoughts on it. I just, I, you know, I, I find it ironic that there's a power outage and they're blaming cell phones. It's not, cell phones are not new, sorry. And, uh, or social media is not even new. What is it, like 14, 15, 16 years old or something like that? I think even MySpace came out before the 2000s. I never was on that. And <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Like 4.4% of women were allowed to compete the last time the Olympics were in uh, the Summer Olympics were in France, according to this article. And now you're just throwing it away. Make it make sense. <clears throat> make it make sense. Anyway, uh, comments, questions down below. I'm sure it'll be nice. And talk to you in the next one. Uh, like, subscribe. Peace. I would say share this, but probably. Probably won't happen, but maybe it will. Anyway, talk to you in the next one.